Today on BladeHQ.com, we are taking a look at the John Kubasek Creditor 2. Very cool little custom knives. We just got a bunch of these in the other day, and they're pretty darn sweet. We're going to be comparing it to the SOG Axis card near the end of this little overview, and we're also going to take a look at the different variations and models that are out there. So pretty sweet little tool designed by John Kubasek. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. I'm not certain. He's from Massachusetts. He's been a member of the Knife Makers Guild since 1999. And he makes some very solid work. He's been making knives since 1988. So he isn't, this isn't his first pony ride, his first rodeo. And he does a great job. So check this out. First of all, the overall length on this knife, 6.2 inches. The blade length is 2.8 inches, made from D2 steel, and it's got this carbon fiber laminate on it, which is pretty cool because, to me, like if I were to pull this out in a store, if I were using it as a money clip, it wouldn't look like a knife to the cashier at all. I mean, it's kind of technical looking, but I don't think anyone would look at it and say, oh, that guy's got a knife, as opposed to this version, the broadhead version, which kind of has that knifey look to it. But uh, it does come in the carbon fiber in three different varieties. You've got the broadhead and carbon fiber, as well as the talon, which is also pretty darn cool. Very nice look to it. Pretty sweet little blades. Now, I wanted to mention um, as well, each one of them has its own little way of opening, kind of a thumb hole opener on all of them. Thumb hole there on this one kind of an extended thumb hole in several different places. I was thinking if you uh, went into survival mode on this one, you could strap it onto a spear. I don't know how long it would last that way, but you can see it says John Cubasek right there. East Hampton, Massachusetts. It's a titanium lock, and it's got his uh, Cubasek tab lock right here. You can see that, and that's going to keep that tab from overextending that way. So pretty cool little feature. The design here is really quite impressive. I, I like it. Check it out. One-handed opening and closing. And these ones have kind of a, a carbon fiber inlay right there. Kind of a blade stop slash inlay. There's also this little blade stop right there to keep it from overextending the wrong way. It's kind of a rivet construction on the pivot. That would be the best way I'd describe it. So you can't adjust it at all. It's uh, stationary there as far as your ability to adjust it. Um, kind of an interesting feel when you're holding it in the hand. Um, it's not my favorite, not gonna lie there. Um, there's not really a spot here where it just feels like, ooh, this feels great in my hand. But this is the kind of knife I would label it as a last ditch tool. So I'm gonna give it the last ditch tool button right here, everyday carry, last ditch tool sort of, sort of deal. But for what it is, very, very cool. Uh, I wanted to mention the weight on the carbon fiber one, super light, 1.5 ounces. Uh, deep carry pocket clip or money clip. I'll show you it in my pocket right here. Uh, it rides very deep, very small in the pocket, very thin. Thickness, 0.12 inches, 0.125. So about a quarter inch thick, an eighth inch, excuse me, about an eighth inch thick. So very, very skinny and light. The uh, other version is a little bit heavier. Uh, this one weighs 1 1.8 ounces, so 0 0.3 ounces more. Like I said, very small, very tiny. Let me show you, uh, I've got this version with the money on it, all of the money for my wallet, all of $3. Don't rob me in the street. You'll be sorely disappointed. But check that out. Works very nicely. Impressive. Little clip point blade on that one. Just a great design. I'm impressed by it. I wanted to mention really quickly the grind on it. It's kind of a chisel grind. That's probably the best way to describe it. So you can see it's chisel ground on the one side. And then he's just barely, just slightly hit this other edge. And there is a secondary grind there. So it's not a true chisel grind, but uh, just 
my my guess on performance is it would probably perform like a, a regular chisel grind, grind, simply because this edge is so much more pronounced than the other. Uh, I did notice, and obviously the uh, the blade play on this one is going to be a little bit more. I mean, you can feel it a little bit of side to side. Front and back is actually very solid. I'm impressed. That titanium uh, frame lock is very impressive for what it is, you know. Very cool. And I wanted to mention as well, I think the uh, it's a stainless steel pocket clip on it. And it is removable if you wanted to roll without it. So, don't know why you would, but you never know. There's kind of a lanyard hole there as well. Um, but I, I pulled the uh, SOG Axis card 2.0 off the shelf, and I kind of did a comparison, my own personal comparison here. And to me, the SOG Axis card is a lot cheaper. First of all, $61.95 versus $185 for the carbon fiber on this one, and uh, $125 for the uh, non-carbon fibers, the D2 steel on it. But uh, check this out. I like SOG's uh, arc lock on here. Makes that one-handed opening and closing super easy. You could use it as a money clip as well. And I think the biggest selling point for me is the price, $61 versus $185. It's, it's the difference between a production model and a custom. And that's what you're paying for here. So check it out there. Obviously different blade styles and that sort of thing. And this one weighs 1.8 ounces. So these two weigh about the same. And this one is a little bit thicker as well, the one from SOG here. The thickness on this one is 0.19 inches. So quite a bit thicker, relatively. But uh, different, different strokes for different folks. I think that's the big thing here. Really like them. Uh, I wanted to mention the talon blade here. Kind of a, for lack of a better word, it's a gut hook. These are really just, these are self-defense knives. They're, they're everyday carry. Now check this one out. It does have, I can feel that blade play in the, in the blade. Forward and back. Side to side, about the same as the others, but that one's got a little bit of a tick in it. You can kind of hear that. Anyway, very cool. I like them a lot. A uh, little pricey, but they are customs. Keep that in mind. Uh, you're paying for a custom maker, John Kubasek, to make these with his bare hands. So, very cool little knives. Like I said, the carbon fiber runs for 185 on bladehq.com, and the other version runs the satin version runs for 125 on bladehq.com and that is the place to buy them buy them now on bladehq.com